I got this great idea and that is to do my shed makeover that is behind me. Um, I have been told by a few people that came to my home that my shed looked uh, creepy. <laughs> I paint furniture every day, so why I don't give some love to this poor, creepy looking shed, right? So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how I'm going to transform this little shed behind me in something super cute and cozy and a pretty looking, so nobody can ever say again that this shed looks creepy. First thing first, I'm going to pressure wash this shed because it's very dirty and whatever is left on the railing and on the floor, I'm going to strip that completely. So that way I have a nice wood and I can go with any stain or color I want. Are we rolling? We're rolling. And this is my mic. So I'll be speaking in my mic today. I usually it's pick into brushes, but today it's a power wash. So what I have to say about me, I'm ashamed of myself. Shame on me. I left the shed abandoned. I'm so glad I'm doing this because it was so nasty and it needed so much to be washed. And all these years, I'm just so wrapped to doing furniture, more furniture, more furniture. And this little shed here is crying for a makeover. So I feel good about myself. I feel like a good human being today. <laughs> Today we're wrapping up for today, let it dry, and tomorrow we're going to Home Depot. Woo! <laughs> We're going to get some plants first. My favorite part. I love plants and I love flowers. And I love to be here. This is $12. This is not expensive. So we can get these. Oh, that's not bad. That's $11, $12 for these trees. Holly. In Cabery Holly something. Why is this like all shedding? Okay, that's it for now. Let's go inside, get some paint. There we go. We have solid colors, popular colors, semi-transparent and transparent. So I think I want to go with this color okay let me go tell her and you want it like a stain solid stain and sealer yes yes please how much do you need i need a a gallon okay. and then i will need this cedar semi-transparent gallon of that too and that'll be all yes Okay, give me about five minutes. Perfect, thank you so much. 
I am getting this solid color in a custom color that I found on Pinterest and I'm getting a cider semi-transparent uh, color as well because I want that color combination and we're now waiting in five minutes we'll pick up and tomorrow we can start painting that little shed and I don't know what I will do with plants I got a bunch of plants but maybe that won't be enough and then I will come back and get some more we will see but for now we're getting the paint so we got some ugly pots that I'm going to chalk paint and make it look like a concrete. And I got some uh, trees, I got some flowers, succulents, uh, stain. So we pretty much got everything we need. Maybe I will have to come back for more plants, but I'm not sure. For now, this is good and we're going to pay and we're going home to start painting. Let's go. And we're back from Home Depot and we can finally start painting this shed. Once I was done pressure washing it, I left, left everything to dry and we sanded it a little bit, the floor and the railing. Uh, that way I have a nice clean surface to stain. And my friend built this little cute uh, plant holder on the railing. So everything is now ready for me to just be painted and stained. And let's go and have fun. We are going to start with this one. I'm just going to grab my uh, cheap brush and I know some people will tell me, oh, there is special deck brushes. I just have this on hand and why buy something extra when we can just use this? So that's what we are doing. We are using a brush we already have. Wow, I like it. I really like it. dying from heat it's so hot out here but uh, we're moving along we still have to do uh, the other side of the shed and then I have to go for the second coat on the green uh, and I have to do the floor it's really hot I'm looking for the shade the whole time and I just found it right here and I don't want to move but I have to um, I could have used a spray gun that I have but I decided to use a brush because it's just more fun. Spray gun is boring. <laughs> How do you like my shed? It's gonna look nice. Yeah. Do the back all done. I did the back. I just need to do the back, uh, the top on the back, the, on top of the window. Yeah. It's hard to reach. I love my neighbor. I love Eddie. He's such a good neighbor. He always check on us, make sure we're doing good, if we need anything, and he just loves us. So we love him back. So now we're going to break this, uh, going back and forth with the stain and painting the shed. I'm actually going to uh, use some Rizamit Prima stems on these uh, pots. I wanted to paint them, but once I saw how they're matching the green nicely, I'm just going to keep them as is 
and we're just going to add a little something extra by using resin with Prima stamps. So let's first start with this one. I just wipe it off to make sure there is no dust on it. And I'm going to use Anislon graphite color for this. And now for this door that I really dislike. I love everything I did so far beside this door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Anislon Graphite. I really love Anislon colors, they're very sophisticated. So for the touch of sophistication on this uh, farmhouse wooden shed, I'm going to do graphite doors. All I have left to do is plant my flowers and plants and I have to put all this together and show you the final look. So let's uh, get this done. We are finally done with this shed makeover. What a difference this is. Where we started and where we're now, this is super cozy and cute. I love everything about this. Uh, the only thing I think I need to add is a little bit more plants on both sides of the shed. I will do later on that. Maybe I will do, maybe I won't. But for now, I love how this is looking super cute cozy and i can see myself uh, here sitting having morning coffee or enjoying my evenings i really hope you like this video if you did uh, give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already i will see you next time with a new project and more ideas bye guys hi you guys <laughs> ah there's a bee <laughs> i'm afraid of heights Ah, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna be right here. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> like we're going to some people, like we're going to the mall or something, like to Gucci, you know? <laughs> uh, this rug is way smaller than I thought. <laughs> Ah, this is like so small, but it's okay. <laughs>